Hey lovelies, right now we're at Macy's doing a little birthday shopping for my baby girl. Here she is. Hi! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so, so anyway, this is what we uh, I'm fine. I'm so far. Oh, look at me. It's me. Sorry we're not guys. I'm doing the Adidas joggers because they fit really, really bad. These fit awful. So make sure you try them on if you're trying try to try them on. Like these. Yeah. They were a no. They were a no. Very, like, not fit. I got them. these for my baby boy, of course, because guess what? When it's my daughter's birthday, it's his birthday too. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's not his birthday. But that's the way it is when you have two kids. You know how that goes. If you're a mom, you get it. Uh, and then this is like, you want me to unveil what you're getting now? We'll do a haul at the end we'll do for like, okay? Yeah. Four shirts. But we found four shirts, okay? And come over this way. Hi. No, we'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah. We're going to see you in the next one, guys. Guess what, lovelies? This is on sale. Used to be 60 bucks. Look off for 50 and 60 bucks. I hope you can see that. Zero in on it. Oops. <laughs> Here we go. But anyway, guess what? These are now on sale for like $14.99. That's good. 60% off at Macy's. Get over here. Get these full fur throw flannel blankets. They're everywhere. And they're so great for the season, guys. Okay? No, none of them are full price. None of them. Hi lovelies! It's the daughter here today guys. So today I'm going to be showing you where I got when we went shopping today for my birthday haul because my birthday is tomorrow and today is the um, 29th, 28th and my birthday is the 29th. So yeah and I'm going to start with H&M. So at H&M first I got this. Let me put my down here so you guys can see. So, I got this cute little Mickey shirt. I thought it was really cute because it has a little Santa hat. It's very Christmassy. And I really got it too because, like, when December comes, I'm going to be all, like, decked out for school. Like, I'm going to be wearing a bunch of Christmas stuff to school in December because I'm just that person. And when we have, like, Christmas, like, spirit week and stuff, I got that. And then... I got this mini shirt because I just saw it and I was like, if I got Mickey, like I have to get mini. And I liked it because it was like in violet colors instead of like the basic mini red and white, you know. If it was in red and white, I might have got it, but I feel like this was really cute. And it's like a grayish, like purple, and the rest is just, you know, lilac purple. Okay, here I have this. Bright t-shirt. My dad actually picked this one out for me and he was like, oh yeah, you should get that. And I was like, oh yeah, I think it's like actually nice because I really love Sprite. I have like so many Coca-Cola shirts, but Sprite, I like actually drink Sprite. I don't even drink Coca-Cola or anything like that. Don't drink Pepsi, but I actually like Sprite. So this is a cute shirt I thought and it says like a slogan on it, like great... Great mm, lime, lime taste. Lemon taste. You know, guys. So, and dad took me birthday shopping, so shout out to him. We love that. Okay, so I got this Yale t shirt. I saw it and I was like, hmm, should I get it? Because, like, I don't go to college or anything. Like, <laughs> but. This is a really, really, really nice shirt. And I was like, Yale, that's where the smart kids go. 
like, and this is so cute. It's like a really like deep blue. It looks like very like, I feel like fancy and stuff. So I really like this Yo t-shirt. I'll be wearing this with like maybe some baggy jeans or something like, I'm gonna put like a fit with this. You're definitely gonna see me wearing this eventually. If it's not sometime soon, it'll be eventually. And then Macy's is up next. That's all I got from um, H&M really. So then, here's what I got from Macy's. I got these two champion shirts. First, I'll talk about the blue one. I I got the blue one because I thought it was cute. At first, I was like, oh, like, is it too, like, boyish or whatever? Like, are the colors off? And then I looked and I was like, it's actually really cute. I like how it's two different shades of blue. So I was like, yeah, I think this was a really good choice for me to pick. And... I also like this champion one right here because it has like th three different colors in it and I liked that it was a white shirt because I don't have too many like white t-shirts I don't have like still even buying this I don't have like any plain white t-shirts which I need, still need to get or whatever but this I was like another white t-shirt that's great okay now I got this blanket right here I just got this because it's aesthetic and Christmas and I have like already have like like the little um, reindeer ears for like when we do spirit week or whatever so and this you guys would not believe this used to be $50 guys and guess what we got it for $15 because the guy was like that's a sale he's like this is on sale and I told my mom and they were like and then my mom was like, oh my gosh, like it's on sale? So look at this, guys. Literally look at this. That is a sale right there. And that's, we actually should have got more of these, but we got two. But this one, I chose it because it was Christmassy. And I felt like it would be very like aesthetic for like a throw for my bed or if I just wanted to like change the whole sheet. Because I like my other throw, but this one is more like Christmassy. So yeah. When I decorate my room for Christmas, which that will be coming up soon. Next, I got these shoes from just like a store in the mall. I can't really tell you guys what it is because I don't really know. But you know, there's like other stores in the mall that are like Macy's and JCPenney and they're just like, so I'll take these out for you guys real quick. I really, these are like boots and I thought these were really, really, really cute. That's what it looks like. It's like platform, it has like a little angle if you guys can see that. And it's really cute. It doesn't have any zippers or anything. This is just like, you know, that mesh material where you would slide your foot in like a normal gym shoe. So. But I like them also because they kind of remind me of Doc Martens, but I feel like they're better than Doc Martens. Um, personally. Back to the box. They're cute. Next, we have Discovery, which is my personal favorite store because I feel like at the mall I can't find much nowadays i feel like the stores that i used to like are not they're just not cutting it they're not getting what it's supposed to get so that's okay because we have discovery which gives me great jeans and you know it i don't really get too many shirts from discovery but it jeans they do that definitely okay so in here i have jewelry and first I have this lanyard because I went to Dick's Sporting Goods too, but this was the only thing that we got and then we got some like snacks. <laughs> but this is like the only thing that I bought, bought that was like material item because I thought it was cute. It has like the little Nike sign, but then you just push it, release it, and then it's like this, which I thought was different. And then you just slide it back in. So I thought that was cute. And it's red. There was like two other colors. I just wasn't messing with the blue. So I thought the red was cutest. This one's the act on. Okay, here it is. So there's three necklaces in this one. I like this one because it's kind of like sparkly. It's giving me the vibe. I might wear that one tomorrow. And I might pair it with this cute like blue flower one, like tail flower. It's very cute. I'll show it to you guys. And then there's this heart one at the bottom. I probably won't wear that one tomorrow, but it's still equally cute as the rest of them. And that 
I'll put these back in the bag. That's all from Discovery. I have more in here. So I got this SpongeBob. I think it has Patrick on here. And then it has Sally Squidward. And it has. I think this is Gary. I always forget the little snail's name, but that's Gary. So I thought this was cute because at first when I was looking, I was like, who should I get this? Because I like Spongebob. I was like, oh, it has Patrick and Spongebob. Like, that's a combo. Like, I have, like, three shirts like that. And me and my brother are, like, matching <laughs> with those shirts. I couldn't find another one. Otherwise, I would literally would have took the opportunity to, like, match again because that's usually what we do with Spongebob. Like, but this one had the whole gang, like, the whole crew, guys. Like, imagine that. And then it had Gary on there. I was like, oh, Gary? And then I looked at the back, and it was Sally and Squidward. And I was like, ooh. Like, what I really wish they had put on here was, like, the crab guy, Mr. Crab. Because it looked he did him wrong by not putting him in it. But, and it's very, like, fluorescent, like, neon, like, neon outlines. I like how it wasn't just, like, basic colors. And it's black. Which I think is also different for Spongebob. I'm talking a lot about this here. But I think it's different <laughs> for Spongebob. Because usually Spongebob I just see them in white and gray. Which is what I already have. But black, different. So I felt like. I just like wanted to buy shirts. Like it's very different. Not basic. That shirt right there. It cuts. This one is kind of like just a basic top. It's brown. It's long sleeve. I got a large. Hopefully it's not like doing the most because I just didn't know how this was going to fit. I didn't like it too much at first, but then I was like, you know what? I can pair this with something and I can make this less basic. And I'm like, I just wanted to, I wanted to get like a sweater or something that felt like wintry or like fall like, but I just wasn't messing with the sweaters because I was like, I want to be a sweater person, but I'm just not. <laughs> like, I'm not a sweater person. And then there was like, um, something else there it was like turtlenecks and i was like i have turtlenecks here but like i have like one or two turtlenecks i'm like i don't even wear them because i just feel like i'm choking like i was like i could work with it i'm just like gonna be choking but like you know i'm not messing with it so i was like this is the best shirt has buttons basic color and it has like you know the little like printing on that so i thought that was really cute little basic top as I said, I will be wearing Christmas stuff to school when December comes. So that's why I got these fancy Spirit Week stuff too. We were supposed to wear pajamas. I missed that last week, but it's okay. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to be wearing joggers to school. And like, even when it's not Christmas, like into January, I will be wearing these. They have gingerbread men on, men on them, um, like little candy canes and like hearts and stuff. They were cute. It was between this pair and another pair, but I like these ones more because like, they're more original and I feel like like you know very Christmassy very cute so now we're gonna get to my jeans which I said I love getting from Discovery right here first we have these jeans by Celebrity Pink Pink one of my personal favorites you see how they fit on our girl right here they're more baggier jeans because, like I said, I don't hate skinny jeans, but especially since I have gym every morning at 8 o'clock. It's my first period class. They'll never let me forget it. And we don't change every day. If we change every day, I wouldn't care. I would wear skinny jeans. We don't change every day. We change once a week. My day is Tuesday for my class. When you're changing once a week, you got to run in jeans. I'm not trying to be restricted in my outfit. So... Of course, I'm not going to stop wearing jeans. It's either stop wearing jeans, wear skinny jeans, and be uncomfortable, or wear baggy jeans. So, Or, like, more comfortable jeans. Like, I don't even feel like this is baggy. Like, it's not super, super baggy. It's, like, slouch. I And I'm still going to wear my skinny jeans, obviously, because that's just me. Some days. Most days that I wear my skinny jeans, it's usually on Tuesdays because I can change. Or Friday. Plus, I have practice after school, so baggier jeans, they fit in... The basketball bag better they're just yeah they just do what they're supposed to quicker to change out of when i have changes on my basketball goals better. i got these CeeLo jeans i'm not sure if i'm saying that right but i'm gonna say CeeLo. and you guys can see that they're kind of more baggier but they're folded at the bottom like cuffed 
I'm not sure if it's sewn or if I can take it out. Yeah, I can take it out, but I think I might leave it like that. I feel like it's very tapered, very cute, very stylish. So, yeah. And they were a darker blue, which I haven't been able to find that color blue for like a while. These ones, I think, yeah, my mom found these for me. Very cute. Shout out to mom. Mom is helping me with all my jeans. She went through like all the racks with me. And those racks were doing the most because tell me why they have holes in all of the jeans and it's about to be winter time like they don't know where we live but okay they thought they did something with that but I had to go through every rack just to get ones that didn't have holes in them or had holes in them it's gonna get to the point i have to buy the ones with holes in them and do a diy on it and patch them up like like bob the builder type stuff <laughs> they're gonna need to get it together but these ones very cute black label Jeans. I've never had this brand before, so I will be trying on these jeans, you know, off camera, yada yada. To, and I'll let you guys know how they fit. They have like these little like indentings, like distressed right here. I'm not sure if it's on this side too. Yeah, it's like distressed on this side. I've always kind of wanted jeans like that. I really thought that was like always cute. Kind of distressed in the back, yada yada. No holes in them, which was another good thing. I like how they did the distressing at like the bottom of the ankles. I always thought that was like really cute. Okay, a different color for me because I usually don't find this color a lot. I don't wear this color a lot. I have like maybe, what, two jeans with this color or whatever. But I think it's really cute. And it's a lighter wash of what this color would normally be. So I really like that. Has a little rip there. It's not even going to show anything because I already know most jeans are like that. I might patch these one up because, yeah, it's about to be cold. And it's kind of more distressed in the knee, so these will probably be patched up, probably see me even patching. If I might get the color of this patching, a dark blue, I might just do black and make it simple. Or maybe like a gray, something like that. But we always have extra fabric around because we be cutting jeans. <laughs> we, yes, we be cutting jeans, we be cutting holes in them, we be cutting the bottom and like making it distressed. I did that one time and it came out really cute. On a pair of jeans, but I don't know what happened to them. Like they got locked or something. And those are my favorite skinny jeans that were comfortable. Like they were comfortable skinny jeans. When I talk about skinny jeans and I hate them, the day those skinny jeans left me, worst day of my life. I don't know what happened to them. I washed them one day. They never came out. Like it usually eats my socks, but not eating my jeans too. Like no, that hurt my feelings right there. But when I did it and I washed it. It came out really nice and distressed. And then I washed it a few more times after I was wearing them. It came out really clean and nice. And those jeans didn't have any holes in them. Let me see if I can find photos with those jeans. Good. Those jeans. So these look here remind me of it. But these are way lighter in a totally different color. But I thought these were cute. They're by The Gold. And that's very cute. And they're straight, like straight like jeans. Okay, so another pair of jeans, of course. This was the one that I think one of uh, the ones that I first found. This one's a little bit more straighter legged, probably more of a skinny jean, but they're by Kendall and Kylie. So I had to get them, even though they're more of skinny jeans, but they're also like baggier and they look really comfortable. I've never had any jeans by Kendall and Kylie, so I'll let you guys know how that works out, but I thought it was cute. And let me just show you. Okay, and they're like ultra babe skinny. So yeah, they are technically skinny jeans, but it's fine, guys. They're, I got them in like a bigger size, baggier size, but so hopefully they'll be a little bit more baggier. But if they're skinny, I'll deal with it because I just thought it was very aesthetic. Right here, these jeans I'm taking a try on. They might be too big for my waist. If they are, I'll probably use a shoestring or my tire belt or I have my chains belt, which probably won't work if these are too big. But I think these ones are very, very cute. They're very baggy and they're saying a lot of peace, love, eco-friendly, and they're by Rewash. They're high rise, which is probably gonna help with the whole like them being bigger 
So they're very wide leg, as you can see, but I always wanted these two. They're distressed at the bottom, which I didn't see at first. I thought they were just normal. And this is distressed too. So that's cute. The rest of the jeans, normal. Nothing too special about them, but I really like them. I have baggy pants like this, but they're black. So, and I'm trying to get away from black jeans because like that's like an addiction I have. Like, wear black jeans every single day, and you know, gotta stop that too. Because most of my comfortable jeans right now are black, but now we're gonna change that. So, we have another pair of jeans right here. Has a little bit of distressing, but it's covered up by the pocket right here. Um, this I'll probably patch that up because don't know how that's gonna work probably won't show anything but yeah we'll be patching that up too and then this is like more like distressing or like fraying right here i don't really know what that's called but it's like making it look like old or whatever but you know so and then we have holes in this one this is the one that i was really talking about i would be patching up this was i think this was the first pair of jeans we found now this is by nature which i didn't know and this makes me think about those skinny jeans that i lost they were by nature most nature has the most comfortable jeans i swear at first they i hated those jeans but i had to cut them to the right length otherwise they were super super skinny jeans and i was like no we can't be doing that but this baggy jeans did not know they did that nature denim which is different than my other ones they were just normal nature jeans so i guess this is different because there's just more like denim denim i probably will be covering up these holes because not trying to freeze like <laughs> no and it's like frayed at the bottom and then this is a little bit frayed and they're rolled and you can take out the rolls again but i think i'll be leaving them rolled maybe wear them with some lower shoes or higher boots now to some of my jewelry right here i got this jewelry just in general you know so I got this. This is like a heart one with like some little like kind of diamond studs on it. This one, I really got it for this like black jewel right here. It's a bracelet, just so you guys know. At first I thought it was like a chain. I was like, oh, that's really cute because it has the black on it. And I really like this black stone and then it has a little crisscross. So cute. So yeah, I thought this was very cute and very aesthetic. But my favorite piece was this black one and the black one just struck me i was like i have to get it like i thought it was a chain at first if it was a chain it would have been so cute but it's not it's just a bracelet but that's okay guys and it's like you know the gold yada yada and on sale which is usually good for this place that i go And that's it for my birthday haul. Now my mom is going to come in and show you the great stuff that she found. Bye. Love you guys. Hey, lovelies. I'm back. Um, basically, this is just a continuation of the video we already have ongoing. It's kind of a birthday vlog and just a regular vlog and like slash quote unquote self-care Sunday. It's just everything kind of mixed in. But I really didn't do specifically self-care Sunday because it was my daughter's birthday. This, um, well, actually it's Monday, but we were out at about yesterday, which would have been Sunday. You're going to see this on Monday, which is my actual daughter's birthday. Happy birthday, my sugar wugger. <laughs> Only I could call her that uh, publicly. Hopefully she won't get upset. But anyway, I know she's outgrown sugar wugger, but she will always be my sugar wugger. Uh, I'm telling you, when we first had her, it was just like wonderful, you know, to be a parent and just learn everything. And, you know, I was scared and I'm going to tell the story publicly for the first time ever. So, you know, me being a first time mom, I thought I was doing everything right. I had changed the diaper. We got home from the hospital. My husband had to go to work. It was just me taking care of the baby on my own. You know, I didn't have any help, no support, just me, you know, uh, no grandparents or anything. Just, just me and him, you know? So I was like, oh my God, what am I doing wrong? As soon as I like put her down, she just started screaming at the top of her lungs. And I was like, oh my God, I'm such a, like, I felt like a horrible parent. Like I was like, I felt like I was doing everything right. But then I was like, no, I'm sure she's not hungry. I'm sure she's not. And I swear to God, I was crying and she was crying at the same exact time because I was so 
emotional. And that was just like the first day back home. You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh my God, did I do something wrong? So I called my husband and he called me down. He said, it's okay. It's okay. You, you, I'm sure you did everything right. She's okay. She just probably needs to calm down, pick her up again, then put her back down and then just hold her and, you know, things like that. And I was just like, oh my God, is this how it's going to be? You know, but uh, I just learned a lot from that first experience. And the second one, uh, he was a crier too. <laughs> Both of my babies was criers. Um, so for like my, my, my son, I was like, oh no, he's not a cry. He don't cry. He don't cry. You know what? He didn't cry at all when he was in the hospital. As soon as I brought this boy home, no joke, he started crying to the top of his lungs. I was like, oh my God. But guess what? This time... I didn't cry with him, okay? And he peed on me too. So <laughs> so those are the stories of uh, being a mom. So they're really funny, wonderful stories. And, um, you know, I couldn't do anything without my kids. I'm so blessed to have them. Um, thankful for my baby. I'm so thankful for, and grateful for both of my kids, you know. And it's my baby's birthday today. I actually have a few pictures of her right here. You see? Hopefully you can see them. A little fat baby. Um, I always had to make sure she was styling and profiling. That's her first little time in a row when she was a newborn, you know. So, um, and I shop primarily at Target for her. Target has the cutest baby clothes. Don't sleep on them, I'm telling you. They did when she was a baby. And to me, they still do because I've shopped for like friends' babies now, you know, and, and again, there too. And um, they got good stuff, you know. So, that being said, I love you, my sweet baby girl. Um, I wouldn't do anything without you. I'm so thankful for you. And uh, she actually is going to appear in the video and she went shopping for herself this year. Thank God I didn't have to do that like I did last year. You know, the good thing about kids when they're getting older, especially girls, they get to tell you what they do like and what they don't like. You know what I'm saying? So that's cool. Um, of course, I did get a couple of things for my son because you know how that goes. When you have two kids, what you do for one, you have to do for the other because they're really watching you and stuff like that, you know. Um, especially when they're like younger, they kind of don't get it. But as they get older, they get it and they're like, okay, it's not my day. No big deal. You know, like my daughter, she would get it. If it was something for my son, she wouldn't even care. But I still, since that's kind of how I always did stuff, I still try to get her something too. Even if it's something minimal, you know what I mean? Just so she won't feel left out. Um, cause we're a family and that's how you should do stuff. You know, it doesn't have to be like big because it is that other child's day or whatever but just something you know significant or whatever just to remind them you know okay so anyway i did get a couple of things for him so i'll just go over that in, in the vlog oh my god i didn't forget to bring you guys um the little flannel throw but i did i have a clip in the video where i was showing you all about the the, fl uh, the flannel throws and they are like super reduced okay and it's a great great christmas gift um you know, for parents, grandparents, for yourself. I mean, to put on your like couch. You want you want to sleep with it. it they're just wonderful. I mean, I, I can't say enough about them. Like, and they used to be fifty bucks, and now they're like fourteen ninety nine at Macy's. You better run there and get it. And I meant to bring it to you. So if I pause the video, I'll go and show you the other one that I got. And my daughter, I know she showed you hers last night. Hers is more of like Christmassy, but mine is more on the like. Um, flannel side or plaid side because I got it for my son, you know. Okay, so anyway, let's just get into this. Um, so I got him these couple of shirts, you know. He's growing like you wouldn't believe, thank God. Uh, he got this little orange champion shirt. I think it's cute. Um, then he got this little green one, which is my favorite color. And he got this camel gray one, which is very cute. And, um, oh, they're having a sale on like sportswear too. I forget how much the percentage is off, but um, if your kids are involved in sports or they like sportswear, like these things like this, then um, they're having a sale. So go check them out. Okay. Not sponsored, of course. I wish they would sponsor me, you know, but I'm not sponsored, but I do shop there. So, so does my husband. So anyway, I also went to H&M and got him these joggers. If you're looking for joggers for your kids, I would suggest you go to um, H&M. They have really great, great deals on um, joggers. And I think that's the best thing in the wintertime when it's colder months to dress your kids in joggers just because, you know, I mean, it's colder and jeans sometimes don't always feel that warm and everything. And I mean, we get temperatures down like into the zeros, 
and 30 below, blah, 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 you know, so you want to be warm. So if you're living in the colder climates, you know, hit H&M up, see what they got. Um, so I got this, and plus they have a sale where you buy two and get one free. But let me tell you how to buy two, get one free sale goes. So the girl was just ringing me up and ringing me up, and I actually got like four joggers, right? So you buy two, you get one free. So I'm just study seeing everything, getting rung, rung, rung. All of them get rung up, and I'm like, hey, where's my free item? You know, since it's buy, I get buy two and I get one free. So the way H&M does it is, and the cashier, she didn't even know this herself, um, they take a percentage off of each one. They ring up each one, and then they take a percentage off of it to equal the amount of, I guess, the most, the highest price jogger, and then that'll be considered your third one free. So who knew? I'm used to just like seeing 0, 0.00 if I'm getting something free, but that's how they do it at H&M. But, you know, just so you know. And, uh, and she was like, wow, is that is that how we do it? She probably was new. And I was like, man, I didn't know either because I've been buying joggers for him for a while there. And I, I guess never paid no attention to it. But when I was looking at the register, it was just like everything was getting rung, 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 rung. And I'm like, well, where's the free one at, you know? So they take a percentage off. Uh, each item and then it supposedly equals that third item free okay so no questions asked but anyway let me show you what they uh what i got i got these cute blue ones the stripes down on the side i think these are so cute and they would definitely go with one of those shirts i just showed you guys um so that's cute and he doesn't have any colors like this too um then the blue ones these are really cute and they're so warm too you can just feel that they're warm they have like fleece inside and it's definitely what you want your little ones to be you know in for this and then these are cute as well get him these hopefully you can fit them I'm keeping the tags on just in case I have to take them back but I had to show you all them first because he's so long and skinny you know uh, so anyway, make sure you guys enter the giveaway. Uh, I'm making it really, 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 really super duper easy. Just make sure you follow me on Instagram at officially one stylish girl. And then I also need you to subscribe to the channel. And that's basically it. And maybe comment what your favorite video is or comment your favorite video idea. So anybody who's like participating and who has participated in the past will be considered for the giveaway. And remember, that's when I get the hundredth episode that I'll make sure that you get uh, the special giveaway that I got, okay? And I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining me and the channel and the journey. And uh, I love you all so much. And looking forward to Vlogmas. Please comment some ideas that you have for us um, below. And we'll try to, you know, get it done or whatever. And um, that's it for now, guys. I love you so much. See you in the next one. Bye.